Good afternoon, it's uh, Jeff at Budrum here and uh, Wilma's with me on the camera and she's been assisting me in this. This afternoon we, we're going to make some uh, quite hot uh, sweet chilli sauce from the habanero chilies. So I've made the other two videos, the habanero, the habanero and the sweet chilli sauce and I've made quite a large amount. So this time I'm going to make a quarter of that amount and um, Money is this, and it's got to be a, a lot easier to follow. So I've just got my sauce, my saucepan on a pretty high temperature. I'm going to put in maybe a tablespoon of olive oil in there, and I'm going to get that quite hot. So um, this this will be suitable for anybody that loves habanero chilies uh, and hot habanero chilies. Uh, if you didn't use it as a sweet chili sauce, you'll be able to use it to add chili to any dish or any meal or soup or uh, Thai, Thai recipe and uh, it'll be uh, pretty good in that area and it's got a beautiful flavour the habanero chilies well, anybody that likes who knows habanero chilies are familiar with the beautiful flavour they've got so this is getting quite hot now so what I'm going to do one by I'm going to go through the ingredients one by one so and put them in it and just going to core them out as I put them in. I've got one chopped up Spanish onion, coarsely chopped. So I'm just going to uh, saute these. Now, the other ingredient we've got here is we've got one red capsicum. I chose one that had a lot of colour in it, so you get a nice rich colour in the sauce. So that's going in there as well. Now, um, the other ingredient, the other two ingredients we've got here, we've got 25 grams of uh, chopped up ginger. And, uh, excuse me, getting in the oats. Now, I've got 25 grams of chopped up garlic. So what we're using is all fresh ingredients. So, uh, I think you get a better flavour when you use all the fresh ingredients yourself. Oh, well, the chilies, the chilies were out of our garden, and uh, the ginger, we grew, we grew the ginger. So. I'm proud of that. Now, the other ingredient we've got here is we've got 100 grams of uh, seeded habanero, uh, chocolate habanero chilies. So that's the job that Wilma did for me. She helped me, she de seeded these so she can tolerate the heat and all that and the fumes, so that's pretty good. Thank you, Wilma. If you say so. <laughs> So we're going to cook all this up and um, we'll come back in the, when this gets a little bit further cooked. Okay, so we're about five minutes advanced here and uh, it's just been cooking in this pretty hot saucepan, a heavy base saucepan. And uh, what I'm going to add to this now is about half a sachet of tomato paste. Okay, now the fumes are kept a bit hard to breathe so um, now the next thing now in total we're going to put in 350 grams of apple cider vinegar so at this stage I'm going to put half of that in there I'm going to just turn the heat down a little bit what I'm going to do is com combine all this uh, bring it to the boil and uh, then turn it off and let it stand and then we're going to blend it actually I could probably put it in a smaller saucepan uh, so that's a little bit easier to blend I might do that when it, when it, when it comes to the boil okay so we'll come okay so we're back again now and uh, I'll get you to bring the camera over here please boy. <laughs> have a look at here this has got a nice little boil going here so at this point what I'm going to do is turn it off and uh, 
just to make it easier to blend I'm going to just put it into a smaller diameter saucepan and then that'll help cool it down for me because I've got a, a plastic uh, hand blender so I'm going to blend it with that and, and I'll put the rest of the cider vinegar in there and that'll also cool down so we don't melt the plastic so we'll come back when we do when we're ready to blend it or after we blend it just, minutes, just uh, blending the oh. um, chilli sauce now, he's had to put it into a much smaller container so that he could use the blender on it. So we just keep on, keep on going. Yeah, okay. Okay, Doug, so we've just finished blending this and uh, what I'm going to do is put it back into the other saucepan that came out of and um, put it back on the stove and I've just got some okay so what we've just got this back in this larger sauce and I've got about half a teaspoon of salt to add to that and I've got the juice and the zest of half a lime so that's uh, half of one lime going in there the, uh, the juice and the zest and we're putting uh, half a kilo or 500 grams of um, raw sugar. So well, we just use raw sugar, but any, any sugar will do. So what we're going to do now is uh, bring this uh, back to, a, to the boil and then reduce it back to a simmer uh, for maybe half an hour or three quarters of an hour. Okay, so as you can see here, our sauce has come to the boil, our sugar is dissolved and it's all come to the boil and um, so you can see it's taken on a beautiful rich uh, colour there uh, from those chocolate habaneros and then the bread so I'm just going to turn it right back to a simmer and uh, so um, the other thing I wanted to point out if we've got a bit of time left is um, this this sauce with this 100 grams of habanero is going to be quite hot very hot you know, for the, it's suitable not for the whole family you know, not for the whole family but yeah, you know, for the chili head, ideal. And someone who loves having arrows. Now, um, with this recipe, if you don't want to make it as hot as these having arrows are going to make it, you can use 100 grams of cayenne or jalapeno chilies or whatever you like. And you can make it as hot as you want or as cold as you want. So, um, so it's up to you. So. Even if you use those ghost chilies, if you get a hold of some of those ghost chilies, the butcherlokias, and you only want to put two or three of those in, and you can make up the rest of the bulk with uh, red pepper, with uh, red capsicums. So you still get your 100 grams. So uh, we'll come back when we're... Okay, so we're at the final stages here. We're uh, about to turn the heat off. It's, we had a good simmer. Want to bring it a bit closer, please, yes, woman? Yes, yeah, I'm yeah, coming. Yeah, coming. So uh, yeah, it's been it's simmering for a good half an hour and been just uh, occasionally stirring it. It's got a beautiful colour, I think. Uh, I'm just going to put some in the saucepan just to show you the richness of it. The uh, beautiful, beautiful colour. Want to have a taste of it? No, thank you. <laughs> so, you're quite hot, actually. <coughs> actually, it is quite hot. So this is for the serious chilli lover, this one. Uh, not for the faint-hearted. But uh, now this is a quarter of our normal recipe, and uh, our normal recipe makes about five and a half of these bottles full of sweet chili sauce. So out of this one, you expect to get well over one of these bottles of sauce. So it's quite easy to make, and the ingredients are readily accessible. Um, what else is there to add, woman? Well, how are we going I don't to find? think there's anything else to add. Uh, so this will go well as a a sweet chilli sauce if you like it hot or you can use it like I was saying before to um, add chilies to any dish chilli to any dish and the beauty of using this as opposed to uh, cutting up fresh chilies is you put it put it in by the teaspoon and you get a nice even spread in, in your dish you don't get any hot bits uh, that's it that's about it so uh, anyway thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you later